Hello, hello. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a new video. This is a very special video. Um, this is episode 3 of uh, When Nostalgia Hits, a series where I show you games that I used to play in, in my childhood when I was little. And uh, this is Summer Games. This was develop, developed and published by Epix. Uh, with a Y and an X, nothing to do with Epic Games. Um, especially for the Commodore 64 and was released in 1984, so after Track and Field and Decathlon. And um, it's a, in, in an event-based sport game uh, inspired by Olympic Games, though it's not obviously officially license it. Uh, it features eight events which um, are quite varied. Okay, they differ a lot from one another, like uh, the Cathlon and Track and Field. And um, also um, they the, the control system is different. So it's not just about uh, pushing buttons or flicking the joystick left and right. Well, most of the times, usually it's all about timing, it's about coordination, so it's uh, less stressful for the for the joystick, okay? And it requires a little bit more um, uh, of focus, okay? It's just not mindless bashing the joystick. Uh, with that said, we, we're going to try it out. As usual, I'm playing this on an emulator, CCI64, and I'm, this time I'm using a joystick. So, um, let me... Uh, okay, I'll just swap parts. Perfect. Okay, we're going to compete in all events. Um, up to eight players can take part in, in the same game, which is uh, impressive for the time. Also, you get to pick your name, naturally, and your country uh, with your national anthem. Sometimes it's uh, it's not really that one. Um, it's not really correct, but... In this case, it was pitch perfect. So we're not adding anybody else. We're all right. Okay. Is this correct? Yes. Now uh, you probably see these uh, games is um, graphically is uh, a lot better than the Cathlon. Okay. And um, my opinion is. My opinion <laughs> probably it's because it was designed for a Commodore 64 is not a port okay uh, or of, a, of the Atari 2600 okay that's good animation sounds uh, it is what it is okay it's correct well, let's start with pole vault okay now pole vault is um, so you set the height we start with four meters. Try this jump. Yes, okay. So first try. 
pull grip. You have to pick the pull grip, which um, obviously it should be uh, pull grip. Um, uh, suitable for the height you're trying to jump. We have the low pull grip. Okay, now when I press the start, uh, the controls are like this. So first you have to lower the pole, then you have to uh, change position while going up and then press the button uh, to release the grip. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Yes, I trained hard for this one. <laughs> okay, for and um, fifty. Okay, this time I'm going to try with a medium pull grip. Oh, too early. I released too early. Okay, let's try again. Okay, medium pull grip. There it is. Look at the pull. Straight up. Perfect. Okay, and from now 480, I'm going to try with a high pull grip. Maybe it's too early. We'll see. Oh, shoot. Very close. Let's try again. Oh. There it is. Look at this one. Okay, let's see if I can get to five meters and then I'll... There it is. I could... I think my record is 540, 530. Okay. It's okay. Let's. Okay. So uh, I'll show you, for instance, if you lower too late, it's foul. It's a fail attempt. If you do it too early, again. Okay. And if you. Don't time the position switching right. That might happen. Okay. Okay, I'll spare you the national anthem from now on. <laughs> okay, platform diving. This is something we have never seen before. Okay. So um, um we we used to play summer games a lot, especially over the weekend. Okay, my my brothers invited their friends and spent most of the night playing it. Usually uh, until one of the joysticks broke, <laughs> and yeah, I I prefer the Cathlon because it's much simpler. Uh, here is all based uh, on, on timing and coordination, and we didn't have the instruction manual, so. <laughs> um, in some cases, the the direction we were following were wrong, like in the swimming um, in the swimming events. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, dive. Okay, you press the button to dive, then um, depending on which direction you're pressing the stick, okay, uh, you can do uh, 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 different kind of rotations. Okay. Um, usually, the most uh, what the strategy? Okay, <laughs> you can follow uh, to get a good dive. Most of the times is to jump, then 
keep pressing right for the, the I don't know the um, correct uh, correct term, but for very fast um, spins, and then you press up to release and go straight into the water. Uh, if you do it right, you can get uh, from eight to ten. But okay, enough talking. Let's try. Okay, that was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> now the thing is, uh, it's all about the uh, entrance, the contact with the water. It's not really about what you're doing. Okay, how many rotations, how many spins? It's all about how you enter. Okay, I entered with my feet, but I was quite straight, so I'm getting a good, good score. If you manage to enter with your hands, you can get a 10. Okay. Okay, that was, again, with my feet, but it was pretty straight. I'm getting an 8 on average. Okay, last one, inward dive, okay. Okay, again, feet. It was a perfect entrance in the water. In fact, I got a 10. Still, I entered with my feet, so it was really great. Also, the, um, the average scoring, uh, arch, better the, the judge scoring gets multiplied by the difficulty rating based on the spot on what you're doing if you if you do something fancy like using different kind of rotation you can get up to 3.4 or 3.5 uh, but yeah this is the most cost effective uh, effort wise <laughs> okay let's go let's get on Okay, for for four hundred relay. Okay, this uh, doesn't require you to uh, flick furiously the joystick. It's all about uh, resource management. Okay, so in this case, I'm racing with a computer pacer. Okay, so you start. You have you see the white bar. Okay, that's the stamina. Okay, I can increase the speed my runner okay obviously that depletes the stamina you can also decide to and then you press the button to, to do the change and that's it If, if um, stamina go gets too low, you can uh, rest, slow down to rest, and the bar turns gray. And if it turns gray like that, um, the runner speed uh, slows down. So it's, uh, this is the last one, right? So I can. Okay, as you can see, I, I finished my stamina, but 332, I think it's pretty good, but it's not like the Cathon we're getting points based on your performance. You get 5 points if you get gold medal, 3 points for silver, 1 point for, for bronze, and after the 8 events, count the points, and whoever has the most wins the match. Okay. 100 meter dash, this is the only one where you are required to smash your joystick furiously. So, okay.
Ooh. 991. It's pretty good. Awesome. Next event, gymnastics. Okay, so uh, this is how you do it. Okay, you press the button to start and you press it again to jump on the on the trampoline. Um, then you have to press right, right or left to do uh, a spin on the on the horse. Then you have to press the button to release to push away from the horse at the right time. And then um, any direction button to uh, do a back a flip. Okay, rotation and try to land on your feet. Okay, uh, I'm not very good at this. It requires a lot of practice, which I didn't have. So let's go. Let's see how you go. You get two tries and you get the sum of the points. Oh, that was bad. It was very bad. Okay, that was better. 7.3. Okay, that's good. That's good. If you manage to complete a whole rotation, you can score up to 8.5. Okay, so I, I showed you uh, um, how not to do it and how to do it. Okay, next event, freestyle relay. Okay, so uh, this is not a slightly button smashing. Actually, this is button smashing because you have to, uh, the faster you press the fire button, uh, the, the faster you go. You, however, have to press right to jump in the water and left to turn at the end of the, of the, of the pool. Okay. And you have the lane. Okay. Okay, and then I smash my fire button. Okay, when you get in the red area, you can press left to flip, to turn. Okay, keep smashing that button. So, uh, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, we, me and my brothers didn't know how to do it. <laughs> Every time we tried to do something, but we had no idea how it worked. We thought that you had to uh, press right and left uh, to match the, the rhythm of the swimmer. Yeah, and I had to check on, on, on the good old internet how to do it. Oh, okay. Okay, the third relay. Okay. Okay, this should be the last one.
And now I have to do it once more for the 100 meter. There it is, 100 meter freestyle. It's a same, the same exact same thing, just 100 meter. Okay, 33, pretty good. I tried new. Skeet shooting, this is the last one. So something quiet. It's just, uh, you see the, um, the crosser. There are the targets flying, the skeet. And you have to shoot them. That's all. Missed. Oh. Okay. Sometimes it's just one, other times it's two. I was I swear the uh, the the blue one was right. Oh no, too high. Okay. Oh, a double. That's nice. Ah, too early. Ah, too early, yes. Ah, almost. Okay. Okay, this was easy. Oh, no. Double. A record is fifteen. Okay. And we're done. That was the eighth and last event. And there you have it, Summer Games, 1984, Epics, developed by Epics. Uh, yeah, it had a huge success, okay, uh, so much that they, uh, they released uh, Winter Games, okay, they released Winter Games with uh, events from the Winter Olympics. Uh, the sequel to Summer Games, Summer Games 2, and I think a third Summer Games. Um, I think the latest of the series arrived in the mid 90s, I think for DOS PCs, maybe PlayStation. I don't, I don't recall. Uh, well, that's uh, a story for another time. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we, we used to, uh, me and my brothers and friends, we used to spend entire weekends playing these and we destroyed so many quick shots too <laughs> in the process until we finally bought some more suitable joysticks like the tic, uh, the Tactus and the Albatrosses. Otherwise, they were good. Uh, short stick, very sturdy, good micro switches. Anyway, that's 
again in another, sorry for another time uh, thanks for joining me hope you uh, had fun you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time with another episode of Sirius until then take care and goodbye